team, keep it clean. Remember when I said that with this whole Lamar Jackson thing, with the rumors, reports, and stories and all that, we usually get something like every single day. At the most, then these reports and rumors and whatnot, they'll take a break on Saturdays and Sundays, but Monday through Friday, oh, we guaranteed to get something. And today's Monday, so here we are. Jeremy Fowler, who was on ESPN. Um, he had some interesting things to say when it came to Lamar Jackson and these Baltimore Ravens. And let's hear what he had to say. He said, people I'm talking to believe or are getting the sense that Lamar Jackson is at least open to a change of scenery at this point from Baltimore because he's been put in that position when the Ravens placed a non-exclusive franchise tag on him, opening the door for teams to make offer sheets on Jackson that the Ravens can always match. So that first part, that's what we heard the other day. Uh, but <laughs> before the whole Ken Francis thing, um, before his name came out, uh, Mike Florio, he had reported that, that uh, Lamar and his representation, the person that was representing him was like, hey, he's ready to move on from the Ravens. And initially me, I was like, oh, well, I mean, I, I wasn't surprised if it is true. Uh, again, and, and again, with everything, I should have prefaced this video with that, but I got to still say it now. We won't know till we know. With everything, every report, rumor, story, article, video, this, that, and a third, we won't know till we know. So in order to continue to keep your sanity, I know some Ravens fans have lost it already, but you got to go into everything with that. We won't know till we know. I am very glad, and I know there's going to be a lot of deflected, and I know it's not going to be too much straightforwardness, and I get that, because they still in the middle of negotiations and whatnot, but I am very glad that today... We'll get to hear from Mr. Harbaugh himself. And we know he's going to get asked about Lamar Jackson and the status of everything. So I'm going to be very interested to see what Mr. Harbaugh has to say about all of that. So, and again, I'm not expecting him to be like, all right, this is where we are in contract negotiations. Uh, this is how many years it is. And this is what Lamar turned down. And this is what he would maybe accept. That no, I'm not expecting any de crazy details like that. But it, it will be nice to hear a little something about what's going on. But back to this. Um, as far as... Lamar, if he is really uh, interested in, or open to moving on from the Baltimore Ravens. Um, initially, when that report first came out, I was like, oof, yeah, no shocker there. But then at the same time, I saw where people were like, well, this could be a negotiation strategy. And I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Um, and, and it could have been a strategy to really start trying to get things moving in the right direction. And whether it be with the Baltimore Ravens or whether it be with somebody else. Because teams, if if they know like, hey, you, you're going to stay. Like, say, for instance, it's, it's a job. It's, it's an, you working at a job that you've been at for a while. You want to race. Um, but you apply to this other job. And if this other job feels like, oh, you know what? You really like that company over there. And if we offer you a position here, we, we would like to. We know you could come do the job. Uh, we can give you a nice raise and all, but if you're just going to go back to the same company that you work for, why would we even offer you the position? Because, they, they, I mean, they could just end up giving you a raise, too. So why would we even waste our time? But if they know, like, hey, no, 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 I'm, I'm willing, me as the employee, I'm actually willing to go to your company. No, no, I'm, I'm willing to leave my previous company. If they know that, then they may be more inclined to be like, oh, okay, no, okay, let, let, let's talk some numbers. Let's talk some numbers. Let, let's see what we can work out. And they may be more inclined to really try to get a deal going with you. So this just, if this is true, uh, from a negotiation standpoint, it's a good move because it could work in his favor both ways, whether it be for the Ravens or for another team. Um, and, and if it does start to drum up some more interest uh, early on, then this could help him out as far as his market, as far as uh, just getting, getting a deal. Getting them numbers, finding out what it's going to be. And then he could compare that to whatever it is the Ravens are offering, if that's still on the table and whatnot. So it, it would help. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, it says, uh, now I'm not hearing anything. And again, this was Jeremy Fowler on ESPN uh, via video. Uh, he said, now I'm not hearing anything hard and fast right now on teams making an offer sheet. That has not happened yet. Okay, so, I mean, self-explanatory, nobody signed up to an offer sheet. Okay, cool. Uh, negotiations have not progressed that far, but there's still a lot of time. Could heat up closer to the draft. And, yes, that's true, too. Teams um, are positioning themselves uh, for quarterbacks coming up in this draft, 
And a team may be in a certain position where they may like this quarterback, but they may not be able to get this certain quarterback in the draft. Um, and anything could happen. And, and if, excuse me, of course, with deadlines, a lot of deadlines, they tend to spark action. Um, and the deadline to get a Lamar Jackson uh, before the draft and to be able to give them the Ravens a, a first round pick this year. Uh, and then, of course, one next year, if you were to sign him to an offer sheet and the Ravens didn't match, that deadline is obviously before the NFL draft at the end of April. So you got about a month to do that. So you got some time. Not too much time, but you got some time. Um, so we'll see. Now, uh, another thing, too, another possibility uh, is that with this whole Lamar thing, say, for instance, that the Ravens wanted to trade him. He wanted to move on. The Ravens wanted to trade him. But they, they wanted to get a little more than um, the two first-round picks uh, over this year and next year. I believe I'm, I'm pretty sure they could. He could sign a franchise tag, uh, and instead of going the offer sheet route, they could just trade him. They could just trade him on the franchise tag, and then they'll be able to collect more picks instead of just the two first round picks. The the off offer sheet way. But anyway, continuing, it says a lot of teams are watching Indianapolis at number four overall. Uh, should they feel like they can't get the quarterback they want at that spot? Would they entertain taking or taking their new head coach, Shane Steichen, who had a lot of success with a mobile quarterback in Philadelphia with Jalen Hurts, try to make that move? And yeah, um, Colts have been a team that have been named as a big possibility uh, for Lamar Jackson. I know um, there was that rumor report, whatever, from somebody. I, 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 I don't know. I, I just I saw the guy on Twitter. Say that the, the 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 Colts plane had been in Baltimore for like over the weekend or something like that. I I don't know, man. We'll see. But um, but I didn't know who he was, um, and I didn't know if it was true or not. So I I don't know. So anyway, we'll see. But um, Colts have been named as a team that could possibly be interested in Lamar Jackson. Um, they have the uh the cap space. They have. The draft capital, um, and yeah, and they have a need at quarterback. <laughs> so, and I know where they got rid of Matt Ryan, they got rid of Stephon Gilmore. People are like, oh, they clearing out cap space. Hold up now. So we'll see. Anyway, it said, and meanwhile, Baltimore is at least giving some indications to some free agents they've been meeting with that they would like to keep Lamar Jackson. They hope he's there, but they're not committing one way or the other so still unclear to players like say nelson aguilar who come in and sign with baltimore as a wide receiver they don't know they don't quite know who their quarterback is going to be yeah and that's something that we've talked about a lot on here um if ravens were trying to sign or even trade for a wide receiver oh yeah that's great that'd be awesome but that wide receiver may be hesitant like nelson aguilar that's aguilar is like hey look i don't care cut the check he's like hey sign me whoever throw me the ball i don't care i'm trying to get this money but other wide receivers, per se, more like elite wide receivers and whatnot, they may be like, ooh, uh, get your quarterback situation figured out first, and then we'll talk later. But by the time later comes around, it might be too late. It might be too late. So, ooh, ooh. Um, but anyway, backing up real quick, when, when he said, meanwhile, Baltimore is at least giving some indications to some free agents they've been meeting with that they would like to keep Lamar. I, I get it. I get why. Uh, because especially to a free agent, like, you don't, you don't if you're trying to sign somebody, you ain't going to tell them, like, oh, we don't know if Lamar's staying or not. Like, that free agent's going to be like, oh, okay, bye, hang up. Uh, and then they, it, it also said they hope he's there, uh, but they're not committing one way or the other. And I mean, you can't. You you can't. You you can say all the right stuff to people. You can say all the right stuff to free agents and whatnot, and potential signings and whatnot. But you can't commit because you don't know. What if Lamar's like, "Hey, look, I want out." Who knows if he said that already? We don't know. But so as far as the Ravens side. They're not committing because they can't commit. You can't tell the free agent, like, all right, it's a for, for sure thing. Lamar is definitely going to be here next year. You don't know. You, you could want it to happen. You could want him to be there, but you don't know. And like I keep saying, we won't know till we know. Ravens don't know right now. Lamar don't know right now. Nobody knows right now what's going to go down. So every day that passes, just it's, a, it's more information, but at the same time, it's still... 
not much not much that's new so it's it's just it's just a process it's a waiting process so we'll continue to wait and we'll continue to see what goes down if anything i know um <laughs> mike florio <laughs> I know he been he been having a blast with this. He he put out a report this morning. He put out an article this morning. He said that uh, Lamar should actually show up to the owners' meetings in Arizona. He should show up to the meetings and stuff, um, just so he can start talking to teams directly if there's any interest. Um, but yeah, so again, we we just waiting this whole thing out, man. We will continue to wait this whole thing out because he ain't got no choice. I, I've seen a lot of fans say, "Oh man, this thing is taking too much of my time. They need to hurry this up." Ravens ain't on your watch. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lamar Jackson ain't on your watch, man. Like, they, they got time, man. They, they got time. I, I, it's always funny when I see people say that, man. Like, hey, they need to hurry this thing up. They need to get this thing done by XYZ date. Da, 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 da. They ain't waiting for you. They ain't rushing nothing for you. They, they taking their dear, sweet time with this whole thing. And they obviously will continue to because it don't seem like nothing is shaking no time soon. But again, we won't know till we know. And we'll continue to wait to see if when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson will remain in or out.